Hey guys, it's Joey, and this is the spell work for this week's Motivation Witchling card. I'm going to call this the Seeker spell, because it is about seeking motivation, seeking what we are looking for, and also because there's a heck of a lot of citrine in this, and basically I now associate that with Seeker here on YouTube. <laughs> there you go, you have your own spell. So it's a relatively straightforward and accessible spell for anybody to set up. The Motivation Witchling card is here. We're going to have Joey's witch stick pointing again. <laughs> um, you don't need the cards to be able to do this spell. It's just there for the sake of it. You know, just for clarity's sake, I guess. So this is a relatively straightforward spell setup, like I said, but there's plenty of meaning in that, and we're going to go through each and and how the spell is actually set up. So over here we've got dragon's blood incense going. You could also use a citrus. I don't have any citrus stick incense, and the reason I don't have any citrus stick incense is it's because one of the that's one of the ones that really disappoints me whenever I get an incense in a stick and I'm expecting citrus and I get chemical. <laughs> there, there used to be a, a beautiful orange blossom from a company called Magic Rose but they went out of business and since then I haven't found one I like in citrusy, you know, in specifically citrusy flavours I guess. So I've used Dragon's Blood because that's a motivational incense. It builds up a, a sense of personal power, a sense of action, puts a bit of welly into everything else. Then we have a orange spell candle and it is anointed with lime essential oil. You could also use neroli or any citrus based essential oil. I use lime because it's my favourite and additionally it's it's a zest scent. It's for awareness and it's super super energising. Additionally a lot of the energies surrounding this spell actually tie into my Letha work and my dear friend sent me some lime scented stuff so it has that kind of correlation for me as well. There's a lot of solar energies working through this and that's purposeful. The sun is, you know, that, that big generator in the sky. It, it motivates us, we feel better when it's sunshiny, mostly. Um, not everybody, I understand dear love of night time, trust me. I'm more of an autumn person than a summer person. But it does make us feel better. We do react to light and it's, you know, there's the whole science behind it. Which I'm not going to go into in this video because it would take too long. Okay, so then we have the orange spell candle. So orange is for luck, stimulation, encouragement, optimism, success and achieving goals. Additionally, down the bottom on the tea light, like I, like I do, one of my th things, there we go, let's zoom right in so you can see, is some of the blend that I actually used over Letha and I've saved some for this purpose and this contains marigold which is a herb of the sun for success and confidence, orange which is an, another herb of the sun for prosperity, happiness and good fortune, chamomile again a a sun herb for attracting money and is quite protective. It's also associated with gamblers and bringing money in for gamblers. But for this sense, I like the idea of it as gambling on your dream to motivate you. And then I threw some rose petals in as well for self-love. Right, let us zoom out again. Right. There are six citrine surrounding the spell candle itself. Uh, for the most part they are proper citrine, this lovely clear citrine, not the heat treated stuff. 
and then one large citrine over here on top of the affirmation sheet. There are seven citrines for a reason. In numerology, seven is the seeker. Again, tying into the, the seeker spell. Searcher of truth, motion. It's, it's to do with problem solving as well as coming full circle. Seven days in a week, seven colors in a rainbow, seven chakras in our being. As well as being associated with the chariot in the tarot. The tarot meanings for the chariot, of course, are all to do with victory through action, courage, motion, and success. In my one of my favourite decks, the Wild Unknown, the chariot is represented by a horse, which is a solar animal. There is the solar, I guess, background here. It has a crescent moon on its forehead, so it's actually about you know the balance of all things as well. But there's there's definitely solar potential in the chariot card, at least in my chariot card. Okay, and I think that's every little bit explained. Uh, the numerology here is important, and the citrine. Oh, I haven't talked about citrine. Seeker will be shouting at me. Uh, citrine is a powerful cleanser and regenerator, again associated with the sun. Absorbs, transmutes, dissipates and grounds off negative energy. Energizes every aspect of life. Is a stone of abundance, prosperity and success. It raises self-esteem and confidence and removes destructive tendencies. So it's perfectly poised say that ten times fast, perfectly poised to energise you and motivate you in whatever form you are looking to be motivated in. So this positive affirmation sheet will be placed under the larger citrine. Now citrine is a relatively inexpensive tumblestone to get hold of. I think it's pretty pivotal for this spell. I don't think replacing it with anything else would work as well, personally. So on my uh, <laughs> affirmation sheet, I have, I can, I will, I must, which is something someone said to me when I was very young and it always stayed with me. Whenever you're feeling full of self-doubt, you have to tell yourself, I can, I will, I must. And the idea behind the affirmation sheet is you can write down what it is you are seeking motivation for. So say you're going for a new job, or you're going for a job interview, or you want to get that piece of artwork done, or you want to get that schoolwork done, or you want to write, write your musical... I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know. You know, whatever it might be that you are wanting to be motivated into getting done and it's going to make a big difference. So you might write that down and then you can write your own positive affirmation or this, I can, I will, I must. And that's nice three by three type of phrase. by which I mean one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's three of them. So it's actually, you know, three by three goddess number. <laughs> yeah. So you write down your positive affirmation and things and then you, you fold it in, in nine or by, uh, by three, whichever you feel most comfortable with, and you place it under your citrine. You can have one of either of these cards out or you could have a picture of something that motivates you. You could have something solar in nature so if you had a lovely artwork or something of the sun or you know you had a pendant with the sun on it or you had some imagery with horses on it or a different solar animal whichever you know really tied into your view of the world I guess. 
just sort of visual cues to help motivate you. So it's helping you when you're visualising later in the spell. You then anoint your candle with whichever essential oil you've picked. Obviously I picked lime and you would sort of imbue or charge your crystals for their energies although to be honest with you citrine does it all by itself but obviously it's going to have more of an effect if you do it if you know if you hold your crystals and imbue them for motivation so I, I do, it, even as something as simple as I will be motivated and you could hold each tumble stone and say it three times you know I will be motivated I will I will or you could say I can I will I must for each crystal if you liked same deal with the herbs down the base you, you want to be putting all of your energy and all of your intent and lining up those energies with the energies of the herbs and the crystals and the colour magic, the number seven, and all of it. It's all interlinking, it's all integral to the spell work. So then once you have imbued everything and you're ready and you've got your affirmation and you fold your energy up, fold your paper up, sorry, and you put your energy into it and you put it under the citrine, and then you light your candle and you're going to be visualizing yourself getting it done whatever the project might be let's call it project for the sake of ease you visualize yourself succeeding success i would do it visualizing it in sunlight because that really really helps just draw everything together you can say your own words whichever um most sit with you Again, I think for me it would be, I can, I will, I must. And just repeat that over and over and over again once you have visualised it. Because those three power phrases are very quick, very simple, very snappy, but they really help reinforce your energies towards the spell. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Many blessings.